All right, today we're gonna paint a sunset over a highway. All right, the question of the day is, who is Paul Cezanne? All right, let's run through the colors. Horse black, titanium white, phthalo green, ultramarine blue, quin blue, Van Dyke Brown, Pearly Red Dark, Quinn Red, Burnt Sienna, Cad Yellow, Primary Yellow. Alright, today we're going to do a sunset on a lonely highway. this layer what we've done is we kind of laid in that really bright uh, sunset bright red um, it's gone into some purple so we probably have to kind of clarify that a little bit in the next layer make that a little bit more different add the yellows into the highlights where the Sun is kind of make this kind of come together I think this is pretty good mix right now but we'll see once we have to fill in the little white poking through we've been in the road roughly um, I'm not sure that's the exact color we need. It's kind of a red black. So you get kind of that warm pavement feel, kind of volcanic feel. We started with a charcoal kind of blue in the background to show that it's far in the distance. Then we've gotten to kind of a warmer brown, like a, a dark brown basically. And then you get into a warm brown on the edges to kind of contrast these two. You got this nice triangle with the road. So that has a lot of pulls the eye straight into the painting. We'll add the yellow lines once we get the uh, road correct at the very final stage. Right now we'll just leave it out. I'm not sure if I'm going to add the um, car lights from the photo or not, but it would be a cool effect. Um, hopefully this painting doesn't drip too much on the side. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Um, but yeah, that's, we'll see where it goes in the next layer. All right, we got in our first layer. We got the road edged in. We're going to kind of define that better. Um, I think there's not much distance here, so we have to make it kind of gray here and then darker here. Um, got to bring in that foreground, maybe add some more details in there so you can see that pop. We'll see if we add that car in there or not. Uh, that would be a nice detail. Add the red, kind of uh, bring this together, the skyline. It has a really nice red, I think, here. We have to add another layer and kind of um, transition this and maybe add a highlight on the horizon, although this pops pretty well, so maybe just um, a little bit of highlight on the road to kind of make that stand out. <laughs> So Paul Cezanne is one of the fathers of post-impressionism and he worked um, in Paris and he had a wealthy father so um, they kind of had you know, discussions. He was supposed to be, I think, a lawyer or a banker and then he decided to become an artist on the advice of Sola. Eventually his father came to terms so when his father passed he had a huge inheritance which allowed him just to work without a care and really focus on his art which you know made a huge difference I think in his art versus say a Van Gogh who was starving through poverty and never kind of made it and it really took a detriment I would say on Van Gogh dying early per se and like Van Gogh Cezanne lived in the south of France to paint his later post-impressionist work and it's known for kind of this geometric um, distillation of the painting into just colors and kind of geometric shapes still very recognizable realist in a way but definitely set apart from the current um, traditional painting of the time 
and later kind of laid the groundwork for expressionism, cubism. And so really a great transitional figure between the impressionist world and the later post-impressionist, which he was part of obviously, and then transitioning to expressionism and cubism afterwards. And that's Paul Cezanne. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So here we have this really nice purpley kind of sky with a little bit dark blue at the top. Um, I've mixed in a little bit of those kind of gray clouds to show those highlights popping through with the yellow horizon with where the sun would be and the highlights from that. Um, I didn't really paint in the car. I didn't think it needed it. It kind of looks cooler with kind of the lonely highway feel with just that one uh, light. You don't know when someone's coming. So it kind of lives that mystery of the painting, why it was painted, who who's going to come, you know. Is it maybe the it or is it kind of um, Jeepers Creepers guy showing up? <laughs> maybe I'll name it after Jeepers Creepers. But anyway, hopefully you guys like it. I like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And if you want to check out the full version, check my Patreon account. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>